do this at home. There is yet another storm with massive wind gusts. 10 minutes it's gonna be here. Trees are beginning to sway. Wind's picking up again. This past week we had a wind advisory for two to three days and the wind was incredible. Anytime you gotta rely on mother nature during a project, it's always a roll of the dice. Well, before things get any more weird, I'm gonna go inside. It is 9.49. We're pulling out of the driveway in 11 minutes and this bad girl is gonna be behind me. Kinda intimidated. My hands are really sweaty. If you didn't know, the structural integrity of the boat is not at its best at the moment. Yeah. She rocks. It's not a big deal. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but it's also sitting on the trailer a little not straight. Whoever trailered the boat last 10 years ago did not do a swell job. The good news is I've replaced a lot of the rotten framework over the past couple weeks and the boat feels sturdier. I don't know if sturdy is the right word, but it feels a little bit more firm. I've kind of not even looked at the front deck. <sighs> Wow. If you want to wake your neighbors up, just get some window frames. From 1972, you'll be in the game. Since I purchased the boat, I have ripped the interior out and begun reframing the boat. I don't know if you guys have realized this yet or not. I have not been making a lot of progress. It's a lot of times where just feels like I'm stuck. I've been doing some research on some possible alternatives ah, where I could keep the boat covered so we could continually work and get things done. I have spent the past two and a half months with the itty bitty in my yard. When I started this project, I wanted to do the project completely by myself. I wanted to document a completely regular dude that knows nothing about fixing boats, fixing a boat. It quickly turned into a regular dude rebuilding a boat from scratch. Not only am I trying to tackle things that I've never done, I'm also doing big things that will determine if this boat floats or sinks. That's end of good. What I've come to realize is this boat is going to require an actual boat builder and not just some random dude. I spent a lot of time thinking about this because I feel like the reason this series is so much fun to watch is because a regular dude is trying something pretty extreme. My biggest fear is that I hire a crew on and they do it all for me. That is the one thing to me that seems worse than failing. Ah. Whatever happens, I just don't want us to lose the feel of this series. I know you guys are gonna love it in the comments how I'm throwing all this trash right back in the trash pile we just cleaned. Ah. To throw wood planks at windows, that went surprisingly well. Well, the only thing with value in the boat, my microwave. Oh, go ahead and blow this propane tank up and end this whole thing. Yep. Come on, girl. So, I've been doing some thinking. Woo. What if we found a fiberglass shop that was willing to partner with me? What if there was a shop with a man with a certain set of skills that could teach me, let me work alongside them, let me still get in there, get my hands dirty, covered in fiberglass, and maybe for you folks at home that want to learn how to fix a boat, we can learn together. Oh. 
I found that sometimes in life, it is really important to know when you bit off more than you can chew. Which reminds me, I have a couple brands that really want to help get the itty bitty water ready. Blue light glasses they actually helped me when I'm building up endurance playing my favorite game of all time, Fishing Clash. You can literally travel the world, fish in different locations, exploring new places from your phone. If you're anything like me and Mother Nature just doesn't like you, with this bad boy, we can get out and still get a dangle in. Hook set. Your boy's in the game. Fight him. Nice one. Got a Ness, Ness, I don't know how to say that, a, a grouper. Six gold tokens. Yes, please. <laughs> you can upgrade your rods and tackle to compete with fellow anglers. That provides weekly challenges that you can go and improve your fishing skills in. And my favorite part of the app is you can make your own clan so you can fish with your family and friends and even other anglers that you don't know. So if you guys would like to download Fishing Clash, it's absolutely free. You can use the QR code on the screen or the link in the top of the description. Use the code Fish with Andrew, and you will get a three-star ride, one mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups. All this adds up to a $20 value. To redeem my code, use these three simple steps, and it's only available for new players. Without brands like Fish and Clash hopping on board the old itty bitty project with me, it would take up to three years for me to bring this thing back by myself. Make sure to snag the game, use code Fish with Andrew, get some free stuff in there. Now back to the video. I have found a man with a certain set of skills that the itty bitty is in dear need of. And instead of finding a fiberglass shop and dropping the itty bitty off and never seeing her until she's ready to go, I've decided I wanna keep my hands filthy. I wanna be covered from head to toe in fiberglass. That way me and Gravy have a night full of tweezers and magnifying glasses. So today, thank goodness, is the last day of tarp footage. Ah. Not every day you have a rogue waterfall come for you. I imagine it's not a good thing to transport a boat with 20 gallons of water on top of the roof and a compromised frame. It has turned into an absolute beautiful day. The sun is out, the birds are chirping. Now the two important things to know in today's video is number one, when I bought this boat, I could not move it this easily. It definitely rocked, but it had about 3,000 pounds. All the wood, the fiberglass, the walls, everything that kept the weight in this boat down in the center is now out of the boat. So it rocks really, really easy. The second thing you need to know is the guy at the fiberglass shop has not seen the boat yet. I told him it is the project of all projects and he'll probably never want to do fiberglass work again when we finish. Now he went ahead and warned me that with the transom, the stringers, the framing, everything together, even if I do a majority of the grunt work, it could cost upwards of $20,000. With today being one of the most dangerous videos we've ever filmed for the first time, probably in the history of the channel, we are gonna hire some professionals to help us move the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, folks. So I'm a moving business and I help move houseboats. Safely? Safely. Nice. Transported on cruise ships. Cruise ships, okay. What's your name? My name is Mr. O. Bill Davy Gravy. I think you might have put your real name and your fake name, so you might have gave your cover away. <laughs> My name is Bill, folks. <laughs> so, we have an empty shell of a boat sitting on a trailer, somewhat tilted, and we have a treacherous driveway. I have the worst driveway in the history <laughs> of all driveways. We have massive potholes. It's probably a 45 degree angle incline, decline as you're leaving. I honestly think that if we can get the boat successfully down the driveway, then we can make it. The boat hasn't traveled or moved since we've completely ripped everything out of it. So there's some much needed safety precautions that we need to take. It shakes easy. Pop it. What are you thinking, Bill? Strap it? Bill from the Professional Moving Company is thinking we should strap this thing down as tight as we possibly can. So we have three, 3,000, 333 pound straps and I think you're gonna do the job. Would you walk over here, Bill? I don't wanna get a lawsuit from your moving company. 
you would have died twice. Bill recommends that. <laughs> That is not the way to strap the boat. <laughs> Bill would recommend that when you strap the boat down, take the strap, throw it uh, over the boat, and then bring it back under the girth of the boat. You love some girth. <laughs> I do love some girth. Quit bad talking me over there, Bill. I know you're a professional, but doesn't mean that I don't have personal value. <laughs> is that tight enough, Bill? Really tight. I think if we run, run around the base of the boat and then maybe one in the middle you run yeah run one yeah base of the boat i'm glad i got you here bill you're worth every dollar Strap them as tight as you can. can't wait to see the guys at the fiberglass shop's face when they see the boat for the first time they're gonna be like what have we done <laughs> gotta go underneath yeah drop it down there bill tell my science guy let's drop it down a lot i've never heard that one but i believe it those science guys are kind of freaky. It's on there pretty good. All right, one over the middle and we should be good. I don't want it to go over those rails. I need to go between. She shakes. Folks, I'm terrified. Hort's beating out of my chest. My entire channel is riding on this project right here. So if we had a pothole and one of these rusty tires bust off or take a turn going a little, little too fast, or if I get distracted by Davey's good looks. I mean, Bill, my fault, man. Look like somebody I know really good. We're rolling the dice, risking the biscuit. We're gonna hook the boat up. Hope these straps hold, take it nice and easy. See if we don't flip this thing off the trailer and end my channel. How you feeling? Feeling very precarious. Ah. To the monarch. All right. Dear Lord, help me in gravy. I might need to attach the, the trailer lights too. Could be a good idea. Oh yeah. Trailer lights are attached. I want to remove the blocks. Man, put a yellow vest on this man. He just stays <laughs> on his phone for the day, eh? <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how do you feel right now? I'm halfway. She's going. Three in the mix. <laughs> oh, baby. Why does my driveway have a mountain? Ah! We're men, Davey. We're men. Men don't cry. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't end up on the TikToks. I think the right side of the driveway is a little bit more bearable. I'm not positive. through the bumps now. Gotta hope no 16 year old comes flying over the hill. Come on girl! Make the turn. Don't you fall off. I need you so bad. I think we're on the road, baby. 
We are on the road, gravy. Yeah, you're texting like a a true best friend right now. It is pulling it really easy though. I mean, of course it weighs half of what it does. Yeah. I get it, DJI. You don't know how to make a drone. All right, boys. The world is our oyster today, Greg. Buckle up over there, you dirty dog. What is this, GTA? No. All right. Wow. I love how we can't keep this in the lane. We are on a true country back road. It says the trailer is disconnected, that's good. Don't worry about it. Still don't have the most faith right now. I'm not gonna be comfortable until we dump the trailer. It's, it's so scary. So I've noticed that we have a strap that's just flapping. It's not tight at all. I don't think that's your fault. I think it was Bill. All right, guys, we've made it 200 yards. How you feeling now, Davey? about pulling down a uh, death trap down the highway all right well let's keep on easing down if we blow a tire with this it's gonna flip without a doubt Davey we've made it 300 yards we got an hour to go at this rate we should be there by Wednesday of next week? Probably so. Yeah. <laughs> the boat seems to be holding up fine. I'm hearing some rattling. Nothing too serious. I'm not really worried about the boat anymore as much as I am about the trailer. We're taking back roads so we can drive between 20 and 30. I haven't broke 15 yet because I'm scared, but I literally can't keep this thing in a lane. It's an eight foot wide boat and these lanes are probably seven. Hey, we've gone a mile. That is a monstrous plus. Let's see what we can get this puppy up to. 17, baby. Hold on tight. Ah! I think the trailer's actually holding up fine. I was worried about the bearings and the axle just blowing out, but I've seen much worse trailers carry a lot heavier things and do fine. If you didn't know, if you're ever riding down the highway and there's a boat that looks like it doesn't have a motor and the trailer's about to break in half and it's going 15 miles an hour, don't ride them as close as you can. That's literally how you die. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those situations where you have to just say, I'm sorry, but get pissed as you want. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So we've been on the road maybe 10 miles. 20 minutes and we've already had multiple cars basically get inside the itty bitty and take a little tour themselves we've set up a gopro on the back we're going to be documenting people's experiences behind the houseboat and showing you what not to do if there's a monstrous boat sitting on a trailer falling apart enjoy taking back roads turns out we're headed directly through one of the biggest cities within an hour of me during rush hour just if we have anything happen here the implications Weird. of a blowout are a hundred times bigger in the heart of a city during rush hour ah yeah. come on Davey we can do this There's no way that's real. That is incredible. <laughs> Don't hit the curb, hey you! You're headed for the curb! 
literally scrape the yeah, tires on there. the curve. That's that it. that up, dog. Oh yeah, there it is. I cannot God. believe they're still together. Folks, we have made the last turn. We are half a mile from the fiberglass shop. Davey, oh my gosh. My back is so tense. We cannot let our guard down and hit one pothole 300 yards from where we gotta get the boat and just flip it and break it in half. We're so close. We've taken so many risks trying to make this thing happen. Almost went to jail today twice. Davey Gravy was gonna go for sure because I was gonna blame him for everything. Oh, Davey, I need to nap for about 12 years. <laughs> Successful mission. Me and Davey are in one piece. It's time to go find somebody to help us with the boat. How you feeling? Pretty good. I'm so glad that's over. I bet. I feel so strange walking out of the house and not seeing a monstrous boat in the yard. So, the one bit of information that I may have left out is the fiberglass shop has not yet agreed to take the boat. We might be dragging the old girl back. Really don't want to do that. Hey man, can you hear me? Hey, I can. All right, good. So, have you had a chance to see my my piece? Yeah, I glanced. Uh, I glanced in it. It looks like a lot of you know all that wood's got to be replaced. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. You can? Yeah. Hey, I saw one of my customers uh, came out here this morning. He said I saw that boat on YouTube this morning. No, he didn't. He, yeah, he recognized it. Yeah, and the fact that you can help uh, is tremendous. So. Yeah. You too. Have a good weekend. All right, you do. See you. <laughs> yes! I didn't just buy an F-250 for nothing. Yeah. Oh. Woo! And you guys heard him. It's not even like he doesn't want me there. I'm going to go work as much as I can. <sighs> Unreal. I'm almost more excited about the itty bitty than the truck. I 100% am. Yes! I appreciate you guys tuning in, watching today's video. What a freaking roller coaster. I will see you on the next one. Peace. You good? I don't know what the hell it is. What's going on? I don't know. You wanna get it for me? You got <laughs> something in your pants? I don't know what the, ah! I don't know what the hell it is. You wanna get it for me? Is that a fake snake? I'm gonna be honest, I think it's just the rope that you use to tie your pants. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it scared the mess out of me. <laughs> you were very hot today. <laughs> oh, yes. Call me fat. <laughs> oh, my. Well, mahi mahi in the mix. Your boy. I guess I should probably go inside now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>